Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyre. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Hearthstone working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac on macOS Ventura. So I'm playing this on my MacBook Air M1 2020 with 8GB of RAM and 8 GPU cores and it's all working fine through Rosetta 2. And Hearthstone is an Intel application running through the Rosetta 2 translation. And Hearthstone is an Intel application running through the Rosetta 2 translation there. However, it works great on Apple Silicon hardware, even on the base M1. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So we're going to go to the battle.net website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then I'm going to press this button, which is download battle.net. And this is going to take us to the downloader. We're going to allow downloads from blizzard.com, press allow. And once that's downloaded, we're going to go down and open Finder. Then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then double click on battle.net dash setup. So here it's asking us whether we're sure we want to open it, press open. So here it's asking for the language. We're going to press continue. And now we're going to enter our local administrator password and press and then press OK. So this is saying it's updating battle.net update agent. Here we're going to type in an administrator password again and press update settings. So now it's asking us where to install. We're going to let it install in its default location. I'm going to uncheck launch battle.net when the computer starts, press continue. Now it's going ahead and downloading and installing battle.net. So here it's saying it's starting battle.net. So now we're going to log in with our username and password. So if you've not used battle.net, you can go ahead and create a free battle.net account. You're going to need this if you want to play any Activision or Blizzard games on your Mac. I already have an account with games, so I'm going to press the login button here. And then I'm going to type in my email address and password. So when you open up for the first time, it's going to scan for games, but I'm going to press close here and then continue. Here it's giving us the tour of the launcher, telling us how to find games and our friends list, etc. So we're going to find on the main menu of the launcher are all of the games that you can download and install. So there's a whole bunch here. And you also have our favorites bar at the top here. If you go to the shop section, you can basically buy and purchase many different games. Just be aware if you're trying to run these on the Mac, only some of these are available for Mac operating system. So just make sure to check before you download and buy anything. For example, we can't run Call of Duty Warzone or games like Call of Duty Vanguard, etc. Those don't have Mac versions, but plenty of others do. So in order to install Hearthstone, I'm going to click on games and all games. I'm going to find Hearthstone here and then click on it. And then we're going to go ahead and press the install button. And then it's going to install into the applications folder by default. I'm going to press start install. So that's going to start the install process and it's going to download from the internet. So it's going to be a few gigabytes in size. You're going to have to wait for that to complete before we can launch the game. So once the game has downloaded, what we can do is go ahead and press the play button in order to launch it. So I'm going to press play here and now it says it's launching. Here it's asking us to access files in our documents folder. I'm going to press OK. So now the game has gone ahead and launched and we can get inside and play. So now we have Hearthstone working. We can go ahead and play a game. So anyway, as you can see, we can play Hearthstone as normal on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.